so we've had some very beautiful weather outside today and also over the weekend too. Let me show you a look at current conditions and where things stand right now. We are checking in in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. It's right around 48 in Bel Air, 57 in Baltimore. It's 60 in Westminster, 61 in Hagerstown, and 53 in Cumberland. The official high temperature today, well, that was 77 degrees, and that is well above average for this time of year. And we've got a couple more above average days heading our way, and then some rain as well. Temperature-wise overnight will fall to around 51 degrees in Baltimore, some of the burbs in the 40s, and some patchy fog developing as we head toward tomorrow morning. High pressure is in control on satellite and radar, but it's moving offshore, and that's going to make room for a front that's located out to the west. It's making its way into the Great Lakes region. It'll be moving through the Midwest through tonight. Well, that's heading our way, and it's going to bring a drenching rain along with it. The rain is set to arrive as we make our way into Wednesday morning. It'll last through Thursday morning, and then we'll start to get some drying taking place after that. But an area of low pressure travels right up along that front, and that's going to bring us quite a bit of rain. The wettest time frame with this drenching rain is going to be Wednesday afternoon and evening, generally thinking around one to three inches of rain with locally higher amounts possible, and then temperatures will be much cooler behind that front and behind the rain compared to at least where we have been in the 70s. Some morning fog tomorrow. That will be followed by some sunshine in the afternoon and highs in the mid-70s. A quick check at Ada. Right now, tropical storm with winds of around 50 miles per hour. The area of high pressure that's provided us with such lovely weather has been suppressing Ada to the south, so that's why we've seen very little movement uh, northward as far as Ada is concerned. But as far as the track, well, it is expected to maintain tropical storm intensity throughout the week, potentially making landfall as we head toward the latter part of the work week and into the weekend, perhaps as a tropical depression. But there's still so many days between now and then that a lot can change. Nonetheless, it does look like it will continue to impact the Gulf Coast states. Your seven-day forecast, the cool down, well, it heads our way by next weekend. It's going to be a rainy one, though, as we head into Wednesday.